Hi guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you by converting Windows installation from legacy to EFI without data loss. Earlier we had made a video about converting legacy mode to EFI boot. But that was pretty difficult method and many users said they are faced some difficulties during copying the boot files. But today in this video I am going to show you most easier and safe method. And I am sure that the step by step that I will show you here definitely it will be very convenient for you. Well, let's get started. At first, let me show you the BIOS mode of this laptop's current running OS. Alright, as you can see that BIOS mode shows legacy of this laptop's current running Windows 10. In order to converting the BIOS mode, you need to follow some steps. Number 1 you should have a Windows installation media. Note, this is only for safety. If anything occurs wrong after converting the BIOS mode, then it will be needed. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you to create Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive. Number 2. You need to download AOMEI Partition Assistant by Googling. I have already downloaded and installed the technician edition of it, so I am not downloading it again. Number 3. You have to make sure that your PC's motherboard the EFI firmware base supports or not. Now just follow me to check that your PC's motherboard supports the EFI firmware or not. All right. Now just restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 or F2 plus Dell combination for desktop computer. Next go to boot tab. Next select the boot mode option and hit enter to check whether your PC's BIOS mode EFI firmware based supports or not. As you can see, this PC's boot mode supports EFI based and BIOS based both of them. Alright, next open the AOMEI Partition Assistant. Now select your boot disk from here. Then click on Convert to GPT from here. Next click on OK. Now read the warning message very carefully. If you agree then click on Yes. Next click on Apply. Next click on Proceed. Next make sure enter into Windows PE mode to perform operation. This checkbox must be checked. Next click on Yes. Now be patient for a while, your PC will reboot automatically.
All right, operations are in progress as you can see. Just be patient for a while, do nothing until the process is completed. Alright, now be patient for a while, your PC will automatically restart in few seconds. Well, now just follow the instructions exactly. Just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Del combination to restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key or hitting on F2 plus Del combination for desktop computer. Alright, next go to boot menu. Then select boot mode and then hit enter. Now select UEFI and then hit enter. Again hit enter to continue as you can see. Next go to exit menu. Then select exit saving changes option. Now select yes and then hit enter. Alright, now be patient for a while, do nothing. Your PC will automatically restart in few seconds. Alright, now let's see what happened. We are done as you can see. Well, now let me show you BIOS mode of this laptop's current running Windows 10. Yeah, as you can see that now BIOS mode shows UFI of this laptop's current running Windows 10 and all the applications that were installed in this OS, they are in the same place without any data loss. We hope you will like, of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share, we need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.